Welcome to Gauls Cry University Lesson 6. Hi, this is Aaron Sokol, and in this lesson we're going to look at some advanced text wrapping in InDesign. Let's open up Photoshop. Now let's take a look at this movie poster that we want to put into an InDesign layout. What we want to do with this photo is keep this woman and boy, but get rid of the rest so that we can have text of the movie review flowing around outside of it and inside of it. Now let's select the eraser tool here and delete everything that isn't white out of this background by clicking and dragging over it. So I'm going to delete all this text real quick. Now that we've gotten rid of all that, we want to select the magic wand tool by clicking on this little arrow drop down and selecting magic wand tool. Click anywhere in this white background and all the white will be selected. Now we want to double click on this layer that says background so that we can turn it into an editable layer. Title your layer or just click OK. Now click delete on the keyboard and notice that all the white is gone from this picture. It now has a transparent background. Let's make it grayscale by clicking on image, mode, grayscale. Click discard. Now let's go to image, adjustments, levels. And lighten this image up because Gulls Cry images sometimes come out rather dark. Save our transparent image as a PSD file because PSD files support transparency in InDesign. Now let's open up InDesign and the page that's ready for our transparent image. Let's zoom in so that we only see the article that we want to add our image to. We'll place our image in its article and snap it on the guides where we want it. Once we have the frame where we want it, we're going to click Fit Content Proportionately. Now go to Window Text Wrap. If we click on this wrap option, the text will wrap around the entire image. But we want the text to flow through the image around the woman and the boy. So we need to change the text wrap to this option and change the contour options to detect the edges. Now this is pretty close to what I wanted, but the text is too close in some spots. We can control the spacing with these up and down controls to get the text out of the pictures. The blue line around our subject so shows how close text can get to the insides of the image. Now I'm just going to make some subtle adjustments by typing in my own values here just so I can get the text a little bit off of her hood there but still get that nice wrapping effect. Now we'll preview the page and that looks pretty good. That's what I was going for. And now this detect image option really gives you a lot more control of how your text will wrap around transparent images and really gives you kind of a nice non-linear feel and a more artsy designistic type page. I think you'll have fun playing with that if you get the opportunity. Now I'm going to quadruple click all this text, change the font size so the complete article fills up the frame. I'm going to manually adjust these values so that the columns line up just how I want them. And that's it. That looks pretty good. The columns are lined up. I'm going to save that. And we're done. That's it for Lesson 6 of Goals Cry University Advanced Text Wrapping. This is Aaron Sokol signing off, and I'll see you next time in Gulls Cry University, Lesson 7.